I want to show you a way in Illustrator or InDesign or even Photoshop to get uh, other colors to work with if you're looking for a little bit of inspiration. I'm in Adobe Illustrator CS5 right now, and this applies to CS4, I know, at least for Illustrator. Other programs, you're going to have to check. And the way you guys can check is we're going to open up a panel. So if I come up under Window and you look for extensions in the program you guys are in, you can see Cooler. Now, if I click on Cooler, Cooler opens up the Cooler panel. Now, this has been in some of these programs for quite a little while. Uh, I just don't know if it's being used a lot, to be honest. Um, it's really pretty cool because it allows you to go in and not only get inspiration for colors, but you can search online to see what kind of color grouping that people have made. And you guys, if you look, like 2006, 2007, 2010, this thing's been around for quite a while. We can actually create color groups or colors and upload them to the Cooler website. And then you can download them from other people. So suppose that we're looking out here and we're looking for... I don't know, we're doing something about a beach party or something. I want to type in beach and hit return or something like that. It's going to go in and search. Of course, we have to have an internet connection to do this. It'll be able to search for it and find a series of, uh, of color groups. You can see them right here, beach house, beach hut, et cetera, et cetera. Now, we can go through and say, okay, well, let's check out the search results. You can also look at like highest rated, most popular, newest, just a random assortment. Uh, we can even save our own. So let's suppose, suppose we do a lot of things with like sand. I could save a uh, search called sand, and next time I want to do it, I don't have to type it in. I just click on it, and it'll pull it up. So there we can go. Now, how we use this, this is probably the best way to do this. If I click on one of these, you can see that there's a, a little information when you hover over it. There's a little arrow here, which I click on, and there's 50 ways to do this. You can choose, let's add it to the swatches panel. Let's view it online in Cooler, or let's report a concern, which... <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what you can also do, you click on it, you look down here, you'll see that there's a little um, little swatches button. You can click on that. And what that'll do is if I go over to the actual swatches panel for the document I'm working on. Now, you probably won't have a document open to do that. It'll stick it in there, in Illustrator anyway, as a color group. And there we go. That way we can go out and select our content, do however we want to do it, and start applying the color. Now, the opposite is true too. If you find that you have, let's say, a color group that you've created and you want to share it with the world. You're like, this is the best color for, I don't know, carnival, whatever. I don't know. Come into the panel. You'll see right here, it says Upload Swatch to Cooler Community. If I click on that little button right there, it's going to take the selected swatch or swatches and allow me to upload them. Now, if you take a look, it's going to take a second here, but it's going to take you to the Cooler website and show you the colors here. And you can go in and do things like change the colors, add title, tags, save it so other people can get in and that sort of thing. And I'm pretty sure they make you sign in, but it's pretty easy to do. So use your Adobe ID. Anyway, if you guys are looking for some inspiration and you want to find colors, you want to be able to use them, like I said, these are out there on the internet. They're on the Cooler website. People are uploading constantly and we can always download, look and see what we want. There's tons of other things we can do with this panel, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of a place to go for color inspiration.